Hello everybody, it's Avalon. I am doing a demonstration of how to make red bubble. First thing you do is you get your little handy dandy scale out. Use a little medicine cup, that's what I do. Put it on there, calibrate it. Today I'm using Pink Elephant from Beleafer. B-E-L-E-A F-E-R, Beliefer. I just discovered this that new um, vendor, and uh, it's a really good product. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get a different spoon. I'm going to put my powder in. I am using 7 grams of... Here we go, seven exactly. Then, this is my, my red bubble glass, and I pour it in there. And I take my lemon juice. There's a tablespoon. The recipe usually is for four grams, so since I'm using seven, I use a little bit more of the lemon juice, maybe about a tablespoon and a half, somewhere around there. And then, I start into a paste. Learning this, this system here, Changed really changed my kratom experiences because um, before I used to toss and wash. I'll do a demonstration of that too, maybe tomorrow or something. I don't want to take any more kratom today. And um, when I found when I discovered this, it was from Philly Kratom's Your Leaf Your Life uh, Your Leaf Your Life Facebook group. And I've learned so much there. The people are so helpful. And really, um, they, they're the first ones that, that told me about this. Because I wasn't experiencing my Kratom like I, like I normally did. And so they said, you know, try this. And all right. And so this is in a paste, as you can see. It's all pasted up. Now, I've had the hot water running prior to this video because you're going to want very, very hot water. And my hot water coming out of my faucet is very hot. And so the heat and the lemon juice, there's a half a cup of water. And since, like I said, since I use more than four grams, I use about three quarters of a cup of water, maybe something like that. So, the citric, the citric acid in the lemon juice, the hot water, and the freezing. I'm going to put this in the freezer, and this will be my morning, tomorrow morning's serving. It all helps to break down the cell walls and release the alkaloids, and it puts a, called a potentiator. And it really... You're, you don't, you're not going to need as much as you normally do, especially if this is your first few times trying this, this system. Um, so I'm going to run and put this in the, refrigerator, in the freezer real quick. All right, and so tomorrow morning what I will do is I'll take it out of the freezer and the reason it's called red bubbles because it will form a red bubble on the top so when I in the morning what I do is I take one of these Tupperware bowls fill it with cold water and I stick the cup down the glass cup 
down inside of it to start the thawing process. After about mm, 15 minutes or so, after your glass is thawed, you put you replace the cold water with very hot water in this, and you set the cup down in it again. And it will probably take about 20 minutes for it to thaw completely, and then you stir it up, and then you drink it. It's going to taste like monkey piss, and but that's just the way it is with Kratom. We all have to deal with the taste one way or the other. And what I normally do every day is these are turmeric capsules. The, this is another potentiator. And so along with my serving of the Kratom, I take one of these, these turmeric capsules. And that concludes my Redbubble demonstration. Hope you're all having a good day. Greatest blessings and goddess bless.